Hello, in this video we're going to look at something called Fisher's Approximation and and it's essentially if we have a chi-square random variable say SN with you know n degrees of freedom we and we want to show that if SN is large that this uh, difference is approximately normal zero mean and one-half variance so um, we're going to use the delta method to do this and I have a video on the delta method if you search that in my YouTube channel so let's let's go so let X I be a chi squared one and so the mean of that is one and the variance is two and so the sum of these X I's is chi squared n so this uh, stati this random variable S n sort of acts like the sum of of something well it is so by the central limit theorem if we if we divide by n so this becomes the mean of chi squared one random variables so we can subtract the mean multiply by the square root of n and then that approaches a uh, normal distribution with mean zero and variance two now because this approaches normality we can use the delta method and so let's let f of x equal the square root of x and then what the delta method does it gives us a, a, a tools to find the dis limiting distribution of this function so the first derivative of that of this function is 1 over 2 radical x and so we take the function of this and that, which, which is what this is, and that approaches uh, the normal distribution with the same variance, but the variance is multiplied by the first derivative squared evaluated at this mean. And so that's it. So now let's do some simplifications. So the uh, f of, of Sn over n is the square root of that. And that's the square root and then evaluate you know expand that multiply the n square root of n in and we get this and so this uh, here so that's one fourth and square root of one is one so two times one fourth is one half so the limiting distribution of this is normal zero one half so a couple things let's uh, we're going to use not use but we're going to compare the central limit theorem the delta method and the exact method to see how close they are so let's look at the delta method first so if if we want to find the probability of s of n less than the probability that this chi square random variable is less than x so if we take the square root of both sides and then we just showed if we subtract the uh, uh, square root of radical n and then divide by the uh, standard deviation, then this side is a standard normal distribution. And so uh, we can, you know, we plug this into this uh, cumulative CDF. So that's approximately this uh, probability. Now, the central limit theorem. Is if we want to find this probability so we have to divide both sides by n and that's what this is we want to subtract the mean multiply by the square root of n divide by the uh, standard deviation then this is a standard normal so we can plug this into the cumulative distribution function and then of course multiply that in you get this um, and the exact method. We know that's a chi-squared with n degrees of freedom. So we can just look it up in the table. So let's compare the, the, the three methods. So here we're going to look at how sample size affects the approximation. The exact, and we're going to find the exact x value that makes that easy. And then we're going to calculate, compare it with the delta and the central limit theorem. So with n equal 5, and we want this probability to be exact, 0.9, then that cutoff is this, 9.2 something. Delta method would give us 8, uh, 0.87, and this would central limit theorem would be 0.91. And 
and um, each time we're going to increase the sample size and keep this exact and then the cutoff becomes 15 so that and the delta method would give us a 0.88 central limit theorem is 0 0.90 uh, increase to 25 then we're getting a little bit closer 0 0.889 this stays the same, actually improves a little bit, 0 0.90. Um, we have a hunt sample size is 100, and then the delta method gives us a, a 0.89. This is closer to 0 0.9, you know, it keeps getting better. A thousand delta method would give us, uh, you know, 0 0.898, 90%, and let me just keep going. Oh, I, then I do it for uh, 0.95, and you can see that as n increases, the each method gets more accurate. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.